Today we're going to cover our product groups feature. This is a simple yet powerful tool to share reviews among your products. Product groups are mainly used to group the same or similar products, but with different variants. So the reviews are shared across the product groups. Now, here's a quick overview of how it works. Let's say you have a bottle, but you created two separate products, two different sizes. You can now create a group that will share reviews on both those products. Now, in this example, all you really need to do to create a group are the product IDs of both products. Simply create a group, let's call this Mimo bottle, add the product IDs, select save, and voila, you now have reviews being shared across the products. With that example out of the way, you might be asking yourself, what are your other options? Now let's get into detail. Head over to your stamp dashboard, select settings, select the group tab, select add group. Now here are your settings. We currently offer the following product identifiers as options to create groups. First, you have the product ID, the product title, the product type, and the product SKU. Also, we have two operators to create rules with specific conditions. We have the equal operator, which is used to apply conditions when the select product identifier matches the exact value. Now the contains operator is used to apply a condition when a part of the product identifier contains the value. For example, if you have three sunscreen products with different SPF values, 30, 50, 80, but they all contain sunscreen in the title, you could use this to connect all three products with the one operator. Now let's go through the motions of creating a group with the various options available. Now click the add a group button, give the group a name, something that is easily identifiable. Now as mentioned, the product ID is the most common and effective method. I'll add the product IDs for the two products I want to group. We do have a guide on where to find your product IDs depending on the e-commerce platform you're using. Now let's add the first product, then the second one. Now before you save, here's a pro tip. Normally reviews on a product within a group show up on all the products by default. In some scenarios, you may want it to show on one specific product. To do this, you can simply hide the reviews on that particular product by clicking the checkbox. Reviews will only be displayed on the product that have the check and not the other way around. Select save and boom, you have created your first group. Now let's go over some examples using the other types. Now let's go ahead and create another group. For this example, we'll be using the title condition. Now this comes in handy if you have multiple products that have a particular naming convention. For example, you have red bottle, blue bottle, green bottle. If you group by title using the word bottle, all products with bottle in the title will be grouped and thus share reviews. For my example, the part of the title being used is memo bottled. For the next example, we'll be grouping by product SKU. Please note that this will require some edits to your widgets to add an attribute so they can sync properly. Now select add another condition, select product SKU, and add the SKU number. Now that the SKU has been added, I'll show you a quick demo on how you'd update your widget code with the data attribute. Simply open your code editor, look for the widget code, where you have data product SKU, simply replace it with the snippet that you can find in the description below. Now for the final condition, we'll be grouping by product types. Please note for this to work, the products that you like to group by type should have a product type in your Shopify store. Now let's say for example, you have a plastic water bottle and you have a glass water bottle. The product type is water bottle. So by simply adding water bottles to the condition, all reviews with the type water bottles will share reviews. In my case, the type is bottle. Great, now you've learned to set up all three types of conditions. Now it's up to you to select the condition which best suits your needs. For any queries, 
Simply reach out to us via email at hello at stamp.io or simply click on the message icon on the bottom right corner of your dashboard to connect with our support team. I hope you enjoyed this step-by-step -step video on how to install these Stamp.io features onto your website. If you have any other videos you'd like to see, do reach out to us. Thank you for choosing Stamp.io as we continue to help increase your brand loyalty and accelerate your brand growth.